I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. God damn it. We're doing it again. All right, so I predicted that the Sixers would start 0-3. It, I mean, they, they're facing three tough opponents to start, three top four teams in the East. So you had Washington, Boston, and they got slapped around by Toronto last night. So the Sixers are 0-3, and it's exactly what I predicted. But uh, now we got a couple minutes here before football starts, so you know I'll just talk for a couple minutes. Uh, the one thing I want to get off my, my mind is this. All right, so Markel Fultz, it looks like his shoulder injury is uh, maybe a little bit more serious than we thought um, because I'm watching the kids shoot free throws, and I'm like, dude, th- this, this ain't working. This ain't working. Uh, that first free throw last night where he clanked it off the side of the backboard, no. We, we got to get this kid healthy. Uh, th- there's something going on with that shoulder. Um, I'm, he's not pulling up for jumpers. He's not playing the same way that I saw him play at Washington. Uh, now, he does have the moves. Uh, he's got that lovely spin move. Sometimes uh, he's been doing a little bit too much to get to the rim, and he's not finishing consistently. But uh, he's not pulling up for that for that jump shot, that hezzy pull up, as you know you guys like to put it. Um, I'm not seeing that, and because I'm not seeing that it's telling me that there's something more going on. And when I'm watching him at the line, he doesn't look comfortable at all. Um, and you, if you're going to keep trotting out there, trotting him out there, shooting free throws like that, it's going to start uh, messing with his head. So the way I see it, if, if he really is hurt, I'm, I'm sitting him um, and until further notice. So there you go. Uh, now, Tough loss last night. They got smoked. I mean, that was eerily similar to like a, a process type loss. You know, no Embiid on the back to back, and then he just got slaughtered. Uh, they haven't defended well. Um, they're turning the ball over a lot, but uh, it's only three games into the year, and and they faced uh, three quality opponents. So, like I said, I, I predicted them to start zero and three. Um, I I think they're going to be fine. I I've seen you know signs from the first two games. I I, I like what I saw against the Wizards. Um, they, I mean, they, they fought valiantly against Boston. Unfortunately, the, the officials didn't really show up in that game. Um, I mean, I, I don't like blaming officials, but they were tr- awful in that game. Um, so they, they fell to Boston, and then last night they got smoked. Um, I really like what I'm seeing from Ben Simmons. Um, last night we saw him pull up for a pair of jumpers, so we haven't seen that from him so far. Um, driving along the wing and, and, you know, pulling up for those. He's been getting to the rim whenever the hell he's wanted to. And I'm loving that so far. Almost had a triple-double last night. I believe he almost had a triple-double against Boston. Uh, he had 18, 10, and 9 last night. 9 assists, 10 rebounds. Um, so he's he's getting to the rim whenever the hell he wants to. Can finish with either hand. And yesterday he pulled up for two jumpers. So if he can start doing that more consistently, I mean, watch out. Uh so it's like, you know, I'm hearing from people, you know, they're complaining that he doesn't have a jump shot, but if you can get to the rim whenever the hell you want to, and when defenders know it's coming and you can still get to the rim, hell, that's impressive. And, you know, it, he's got low post moves, so you can feed him in the post if you want to. Um, obviously has the vision out of the post, so... You know, I, I think uh, there's there's too much with, with the, the Ben Simmons jump shot. It, it'll come with time, but he, he, there's a lot of different ways that he can score besides a jump shot. Um, so, you know, wanted to get that out there. Uh, something else I want to get into. All right, so in that Boston game, uh, Joel Embiid. Uh, now, that was a lazy, what, what did he play, I believe, 28 minutes again? What was it? He played against Boston, I forget off the top of my head. But that was a lazy outing from Joel Embiid because he stayed along the perimeter and he didn't exert any energy down the block. Um, now, something with Embiid, he, he does have to develop uh, some post moves. And I'm talking about legit off the block post moves because a lot of times he likes to face up, he likes to jab step, uh, he likes to drive. Um, but in terms of like drop steps, um, he, he doesn't really have that consistently in the bag yet. And I, I, I want to see him get down and get dirty. I, I don't want to see him on the perimeter hoisting threes. I mean, he was, what, 0-5 from three? Um, I mean, he was just standing along the perimeter all game against Boston. 
And, you know, that's, he's getting 28 minutes or whatever it was, but the reason why he's able to stay out there longer is because he's staying on the perimeter. He's not exerting any energy. Bang on the block, draw some fouls, and score some easy buckets. Uh, I, I, didn't, I only like what I saw from the Boston game. Now he's, he's bringing it on the defensive end, um, so, you know, you can't discount that. But um, I, w- I want to see his ass on, on, in, the, in the paint. That, you know, so there you go. Um, Darius Sharks kind of struggling to start the season. Um, you know, I, I, I like what I'm seeing from Bayless. Um, I agree with you. Marco Fultz clearly not healthy. I refuse to believe he's just shooting the ball with his arm at a 100-degree angle because he wants to. Yeah, th- there's something not right there. Um, and I, I, it's if you watched him at Washington and then you're watching him now, it's there's something not right because, like I said, he's not even trying to shoot the ball right now on on his drives. He's he's trying to get all the way to the ten and he's not able to finish. So basically, he's become very predictable when guarding him. So if if teams know he's not going to shoot the ball, they're going to you know defend against his drive, and that's why I mean, so he's not able to finish at the rim. Um, he should be pulling up, and he's not. So that tells me something. So there it is. All right, so just uh, kind of just wanted to get a couple thoughts out there and you know talk some Sixers before the 1 o'clock game starts. So uh, there we go. Um, they got blown out last night, but you know I, I, they're 0-3. People are going to overreact. That's fine. Um, you know, I, 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 think, I think we have to remember that you know, this team does have to build chemistry too. There's gonna there's gonna be like a it's gonna take a little time and that's okay you know um, you look at the Timberwolves last year how many wins did they put up you know like uh, that's that's kind of what the position the the Sixers are in right now the, where they were last year so um, he's shooting with his, from his forearms and wrists trying to compensate for the shoulder pain yeah it's it's very evident that he's he's shooting to uh, try and alleviate pain somehow um, it's you can see it so. Uh, yeah, um, what, I, I wonder what the, what was the Vegas over-under for the wins for the Sixers this year? I think it was like 40, right? It was only like 40-something. Um, but I'm not worried. They're 0-3. Uh, it's okay. They'll be fine. Um, Embiid will, I think Embiid, uh, he knows. Um, he knows. He can't, he can't be standing along the perimeter like that anymore. Um, get on the block, and that's it. All right, enjoy your Sundays, everybody. Uh, Football is, I think it just started. It's past 1 o'clock, right? All right, 106. All right, football time. Later, guys.